We had a poll result uh, yesterday, and we we did not really discuss the 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 details of the poll much through yesterday's show. Very end, we sort of touched on it, but our poll question yesterday was who should bet lead off for the fills. See here, let me let me tell you the good thing about February 29th. It's the final day before the month of March when the Phillies start their season. Like we're getting we're getting kind of close here, right? We really are kind of getting close. And uh, by the way, you know they started in late March. I think they actually I think yesterday was one month to go until the start of the season, I believe. So, you know, they're going to have to drill down soon on who's going to bat leadoff. And we had a poll result yesterday, which fascinates me, when people are this split on something that needs to be decided upon. Our poll question yesterday, who should bat leadoff for the Phillies? We had three choices, the obvious three choices. Here's the way the results came in. Trey Turner won the poll with 39%. Kyle Schwerber finished second with 33%. And Bryson Stott third, but not far behind at 28%. So you have three guys really not separated by that many votes, 39%, 33%, and 28%. All obviously very close. Look, I want to hear from people at 215-592-9494 as the Phils get closer to the season because, you know, it's an important decision for Rob Thompson to make. And it's really not just about who should bat leadoff. It's about how to then construct things, you ready for this, behind leadoff, and in front of leadoff, I mean, we know at the end of the season, the Phillies lost the end, the very end. They lost because their bats stopped hitting. They did. They lost because their it's not like their pitching completely fell apart. They weren't getting bombed, giving up, you know, nine runs a game in the playoffs there. They stopped hitting. So this is one of the main things to drill down on. I'm curious where you stand at 215-592-9494. Let me tell you this. I am, first off, extremely torn. And I think it's evidenced by this poll. I mean, this is one of those things where you can make viable arguments in a lot of different directions. I totally recognize that. And so within my own mind, I've had conflict. Really, I've had conflict for a couple of years now. Because we all know what they've primarily done. It's primarily been a Schwarber thing. They have won a lot of games when he has been the leadoff hitter. It feels funky to me. It's, you know, but I, I re- you can't argue with the results. Well, I can argue with the results. Okay, go ahead. Be- well, I'll give you one argument with the results. Um you know, Bryce Harper was was in the lineup when Kyle Schwarber was batting leadoff more than when Kyle Schwarber wasn't batting leadoff last year. Like, you know, th- there are some – Zach Wheeler pitched better as the year went on instead of the very beginning. I think mean, there's all sorts of circumstantial things related to this. Now, but I hear your point. Clearly, the results have been they have the highest winning percentage when, when Schwarber leads off. Let me, let me just tell you where I'm at. Open-minded, but where I'm at. Trey Turner should be the leadoff hitter. And and I lean Turner for a few different reasons. First off, I think he's just a be- he's just a better player. I so, I swear I thought you were going to go in a different direction. No, like Trey I, Turner. I, what? Okay. So he, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. So Trey Turner should I'd be shocked if he doesn't have a higher on base percentage than Kyle Schwarber. I mean, Kyle Schwarber, we all know what he is. He's going to hit two ten. He's going to walk a million times. He's going to come up to about a three thirty on base percentage or thereabout. Like I want a higher on base percentage to lead off. That's number one. I want. I want speed at the top of the lineup. That's clearly, obviously, favors Turner. You still have power. It's not like, for to whatever extent Rob Thompson values power up front, it's not like Trey Turner is, you know, Steve Jeltz. I mean, he should hit you 30 or 35 home runs. So you still, you still check that box. And here's the other thing. You bat the better player earlier, which means you bat the better player more often. Now, what I don't like about this scenario is I think it leads to the likelihood of Bryce Harper batting four instead of three because I'd go Trey, Stott, Boehm, or JT, and then Harper four. I'm mixing the righties and lefties, obviously, as you can see. But I will also tell you this. Believe it or not, I'm even open-minded, and I'd have a conversation if I'm Rob Thompson with Bryce. Yo, dude, you want to bat two? I mean, there's something to be said for just batting the players that are your best players the most. And if the Phils come out of the gate with Trey Turner 1, Bryce Harper 2, I got my two best haters batting the most. I mean, that might be an extra 50 at-bats a season compared to Kyle Schwarber. That might get you four or five extra wins. Look, I want to hear from everyone at 215-592-9494. How Man, you imagine the speed that you'd have all those extra times if you had Bryson Stott and then Trey Turner. Leading off. Well, then you know, there's an argument for uh, where imagine are you, that. Where, where, that is a lot of speed. Where are you, John, on how to configure this thing? Uh, Bryson Stott makes sense to me. Lead off. Uh, look, I, I liked. Uh, I was 
so close to convinced on Kyle Schwarber uh, at points last season. It doesn't. It, it doesn't for the long haul. Like I, I think it can be magical for little blurps here and there, and it has been. And like you said, circumstantially, it looks. It looks like it's the reason. You know that that, that Schwarber leading off is the reason for the success. I think other reasons contribute to success, and we are misassigning some of that. But Bryson Stott, classically speaking, makes sense as your leadoff guy. You got speed. At the leadoff guy, and and I know what I'm getting with Bryson Stott. It's his third year coming up. I know he's got a great eye. I've watched him hone that eye, and and, and I've watched. I, I'm positive this is a young man. If, if you tell him, hey, listen, Bryson, we need you to get up there. We need we we're, we're thinking on base. We're thinking get some hits. You know, like that. That's the plan. You need to get on. You need to use your speed. You need to score runs. I think he's great in those capacities if asked to do that I hate the argument hey you know Schwarber he's done it look at the numbers you you can't argue that what about you what about once this happens and our young fast leadoff Bryson Stott gets a few I don't know weeks months under his belt as the leadoff guy we have success as a team it does feel different when you've got speed out there I wish he he was elite John he does putting the bat on on the ball. He, yeah, he I is. know that about him. Yeah. Now he can convert it to being the leadoff guy to actually use that and use his speed. Think how reassuring it is when we have speed on the base paths. Uh, I I love that. We can utilize that more. Kyle Schwarber, we know how it feels when he gets on. We're not going to utilize any speed. Yeah. We know that Bryson Stott is going to eat up pitches too. We that that's a beautiful thing. You're going to tire out these these pitchers early with Bryson leading off. We know he's masterful. Um, your your base percentage thing. Yep, you you and his hit. We got to have a high base percentage. Stotts on base percentage last season was three twenty nine, and uh, Trey Turner was three twenty. Mm-hmm. Trey Turner, you know, he had a, well, a down he's, season. He's for Let's months. not expect yeah. that that's always the the norm. Right, but it's close. And Bryson Stott, as I said, if given this assignment, I guarantee he'll get better. He's twenty six years old. He's not even physically as strong as he will be at when he's twenty seven. When he's twenty eight, I can speak from personal experience. You are a better athlete when you're twenty seven or twenty eight years old. It's just the way it is. It's 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 like a man strength thing. He doesn't even have that yet. Imagine how great he'll be. Look, he's going to imagine look, he's gonna get how better. nice it'll fit I get when that. you have a lefty leading off that'll fit with Bryce as a lefty in, in cleanup. Yeah, yeah, batting well, third. Look, here, here's the deal. I want to hear from everyone at two one five five nine two ninety four ninety four. There's a lot of good arguments for all these guys. There's there's various arguments against them. For me, the argument against Stott is I just don't think he's high enough on base percentage guy. I get John's point. He was higher than Trey last year, but let's hope to God that that was an aberration when Trey, I mean, he stunk for four months last year. Seltzer, you've been pretty steadfast on the Schwarber thing. Are you moved at all by what either of us have said? No. Look, I think you made, I think you made good points. I think why, make, why do we even talk? Now, oh, I think why, you, oh. why even show up? I think you make what? good points. And My look, God. I think, I think the, the, the freaking disrespect. The no, part okay. of this conversation is the Phillies do have three good options. Like, I do think that in a, you know, there is a world where any of those three guys could be good leadoff hitters for any team. But Schwarber, they just win, man. Like, the numbers are ridiculous. They are a 571 percentage, winning percentage with Schwarber. When he's been here, 484 without him in the leadoff spot. That's a 92 win pace when he's leading off, a 77 win pace when they're uh, when he's not. It's over 300 baseball games, 330 it's baseball a lot. games. It's a lot, it's a lot of baseball it games. Is. That's a, a pretty big sample size. You mentioned before the Turner on base percentage way higher than Schwarber. It's actually not career wise. Uh, Turner's a 349 on base percentage. Schwarber's 340. Mm-hmm. That's basically the same. Two of the last three years, Schwarber's actually had an higher on base percentage than Trey Turner. Like, they just win, man. And then one last thing about it, too, and I know you guys kind of, a lot of people can kind of be like, eh, it, they're humans, man. Kyle Schwerber uh, likes leading. It matters, but it matters. Go. You're going to get the best version of Kyle Schwerber leading off. Like, uh, you, you may no, find I, that, I, but I it know. does matter. I, I like, it matters you. where people are comfortable, where they want to be, what they do, and it just seems to work when this guy leads off. James, are you... I think you'll feel... Com- but, but hold on, though. Like, like on this idea... 
don't you think he'll feel comfortable if 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 we are we're feeling comfortable no, too? No, that's I, not the way it works. No, he on, likes no. to lead off, dude. Know. Know like, come on, man. James, James, to let some me ask degree, if these complaints go away no, about no, him no. leading off all no. the time, there's some added S- level of sports of don't work that way. James, let me ask you a question: Are you moved at all by me saying Turner and Harper? Yeah, like so. The, if you, I were your two best players, bat him the most. If I were gonna bat Turner leadoff, I would bat Harper second, and I do think there. I wouldn't want Harper in the leadoff hole, though. I do think you can make an argument just right. get him as many at bats as possible yep. over the season. But I, I like Harper in the tool. I, I, if I were not going Schwarber, I would probably go Turner one, Harper two. Here, here, but I prefer Harper in the three hole, and that's why I like the, especially because of the Schwarber thing. It's a homer. Then Turner's just leading off the uh, game I with know. Harper batting next. So. Here, here's the other thing I'll say about if you go Turner Harper. There is an argument to be said for about a better player nine and a lesser player eight. I mean, you know, th- this is a new thing with the DH in yeah. the National League. And if you wanted to, you could take like, let's just say Rojas is their worst starter. He probably is. You could bat him seven or eight instead of eight or nine and have a, a better hitter preceding Trey Turner and Bryce Harper to get ducks on the pond for when Trey Turner and Bryce Harper come up. I mean, there there is something to be said for that. I mean, let, let's face this reality. There's definitely something to be said for getting your best players the most at-bats. There just is. There just is. I mean, when Mark McGuire was doing Mark McGuire things, Tony La Russa used to bat him second. And this was in a time when that type of guy would always bat third or fourth. He's like, I just want him to bat more than the other guys. He's going to just more at-bats, more home runs, more at-bats, more everything. So... I mean, candidly, toward the end of toward the end of last year, there were there were there were segments of the season where the back end of our our lineup was the one that the, the part that was doing well, damage. There were, the, and that was the, you know the young yeah. guys, and we yeah. did get a feel for what that was like. It was almost like there were there were two separate platoons. It was it was hel- it was helping. Lineup. So so look, here's the deal. Candidly, I, I'm not certain that there is an answer. I mean, I don't think there is an answer. I think there are three different answers. You just, you got to pick one. Rob Thompson ultimately has to pick one, and we'll ask you at 215-592-9494, if you're the Phil Skipper, which one are you picking? And I think you gotta I think you gotta pick one that you haven't picked in the past, and that makes it hard. Well, you don't well, have, I don't have to why do you have to pick one that you have to pick no, in the past. You because you, that past, you pick Schwarber, and you I think you gotta you change that no, pick. You don't have to this you don't. year. No, you as don't have soon to. as Bryson Stott leads off for a month and a half and you feel good about it. 